Hello Libra, welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie and this is your reading for April 16th through the 30th. Today we'll be starting with an overall card to pull the energy for this time frame for you and have a look at that. We'll be looking at your specific energies, the energies connected to you, and then how those are dancing and mingling in the middle. And then we'll close off the reading with a card for the Libra Collective. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so only take what resonates. You might want to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node readings for additional context. And if you're interested in a personal reading, there are links in the description below. You can also find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Creators on the Crest. All right, let's go ahead and have a look, Libra, first at your overall energy. So I'm just going to tune into your collective and to all of your greater beings and see what's in that energy field. Ooh, I love it, Libra. You got the star. Some very wishful thinking perhaps going on for you. Setting your sights nice and high, like really wishing on a star, really manifesting. Your manifestation potential might be coming through here. It's a lovely blend and balance that I'm feeling for you, which is so nice because you're a Libra and that's what you do. That's who you are. Even though I typically equate the star with Aquarius energy for you, I'm getting the sense this is you showing up as your ideal self, as your the best version of yourself. And that's how you want to be received at this time. All right, let's get into the more specific energies. I'm going to pull out some cards for you and pull out some cards for the energies connected to you and then see how these are mingling and dancing in the middle. Ooh, okay. All right, Libra, on your side, you get the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Hmm, it's a nice mix of elements. You got the fire, the air, and the water here. And, and I was kind of sensing that when I was looking at, at the star. Now, this is quite fast-moving energy that you're giving me, kicking off this time frame of April 16th through 30th. You seem to feel very strong and empowered and uh, very discerning. Excuse me. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the energy is like wanting to kind of burst out of me. I, I feel like even though the Queen of Swords is a very uh, mental kind of sharp mind, sharp intellect, uh, boundaries, that kind of thing, there's, there's also this heart burst that's kind of coming out with that, which is really nice. And it, it could be for some of you that you just haven't felt very empowered for a while. And during this time frame, you're really going to be feeling empowered again, which is nice. And then the Page of Cups. This is um, maybe where you're just starting to get curious and open up to new love or to love and evolution in a current relationship you're in or open up to some sort of friendship or business endeavor for some of you. The energy connected to you is the world, the queen of pentacles, and the ten of cups. And wow, this is this is a complimentary energy. It does appear that this person is going through some sort of ending they too are wanting to stand strong and, and appear stable and, and maintain this almost like both of you have this kind of regal, you know, Libra, they like the finer things in life. There's this nice taste. There's this good taste in things. My goodness, if the two of you are working on something together, this could be a really nice, you know, match. It could turn out to create something very beautiful, um, which is really interesting. So they may be going through their own personal thing, and, and but they're still putting their best foot forward as well. And they're definitely looking to community and like the love of community and the support of community and coming together in community, family, community, 
uh, relatives, things like that. that. That's also in their focus. In the connecting energies, you get the Wheel of Fortune. So we have some sort of change happening here. And the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is a little bit of a sneaky tendency here. We have the uh, knight. He's trying to sneak off with some of the swords from the dragon's plunder here. And, you know, usually the dragon wakes up and catches the knight. So it could be one or both of you um, facing some sort of, you know, sneaky, maybe a little bit manipulative energy in this, in this connection. Or maybe that's something that's being healed. We'll see. Let's take a look. Let's look at this eight of wands for you, this quick moving energy. We're on the go. We're exploring. We're moving. We're going, going, gone. <laughs> you get the moon, the hanged man, and the ten of wands. Yeah, you're, you're showing me that Come hell or high water, you are moving through your shadows. You're looking at things from a different perspective. You're going to lay down your burdens. And I think you are laying down your burdens. Maybe you're not dropping all the burdens at once, but you're laying them down one by one. And this is really beautiful energy I because you're so determined. There's so much determination here that I sense as to explore and move forward, you could really be exploring a deeper aspect of yourself, of exploring some of your subconscious. Some of you might be going to a hypnotherapy session or doing some sort of, you know, internal herbal like medicine or something like that. That's really helping you move through the times that you feel stuck and you feel burdened. And I like that movement coming in there. And it's it's a very determined energy, Libra, which is beautiful. In that energy, in that specific case, Libras, you know, sometimes you sit on the fence, not in this case. In this case, you are moving. Let's look at this Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Wow, Libra. So if you're not in a connection, we have the Queen and King of Swords here. If you're not in a connection, you are definitely showing me that you are building toward a connection, that you are nurturing your own energies, your own internal energies of stability and building something for you and your family. If this is a relationship that's already established, you have this partner by your side who's coming in strong, sharp-witted, um, also good, you know, maybe good with boundaries, kind of a master of how to uh, control their own mind and their own thoughts. So that energy is, is showing up beside you here, which is really lovely. This could be, you know, also a, the type of partner that you're manifesting, someone who is a of strong mind um, and very well balanced in their mind. This Page of Cups is clarified by the Five of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. It's interesting here. You have, um, I'm seeing some reflections here now. On their side, they have the Ten of Cups. Over here, you have the Ten of Pentacles. I believe for you, as you're opening your heart back up, you may have a little bit of the energy of the past, some sort of conflict that came in maybe with a previous partner. Um, for some of you, this could be something, if you're in a longer term relationship, something that happened earlier in the relationship between the two of you, and there's some trigger that kind of comes in and it says, uh, look at me, look at me, pay attention to me, deal with me. Uh, if you can throw the same kind of energy of that Eight of Wands that I mentioned as that first card to kind of work through this, that would be helpful to you because what you're showing me is that if you don't stabilize this trigger or what, what normally might trigger you, things that might set you off, if you don't stabilize that energy within yourself by really becoming aware of it and and kind of inviting in that 
inviting yourself to get to the place where you can be more neutral. If you're not doing that, it, it throws you off. It kind of keeps you in the energy of conflict and then it kind of stagnates you from opening your heart further. And so there might be a little bit of a little bump in the road right there for you. Let's look at their side. They got the world and for the world, they get the four of cups, the seven of pentacles and the four of swords. So this other energy, this other person is definitely going through their own healing process. They may be doing a lot of self-care right now. If this is a newer connection, someone you've met, someone you've reconnected with, uh, they may not fully accept uh, your offer of love toward them because they're still healing. They're still healing and there's I see a lot of self-care for them. I see a lot of them nurturing their own, tending to their own garden, so to speak. So there's quite a bit of, of focus and attention there. And they may have a more difficult time while they're going through the ending of this cycle in fully opening. But I think that's only a matter of time from what I can see because they are putting the appropriate energies toward it. Let's look at this Queen of Pentacles for them, clarified by the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles again, and the Five of Swords. So on your side, you have the King of Pentacles. You had the King and Queen of Swords. Now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. The elements here in this connection are really nice. It's just not all the pieces have fallen into place quite yet. This person seems to... <laughs> Wow, they're really they're really putting you both are putting the right energies toward things. Their their issue is getting um their bump in the road is getting themselves out of an anxious mind space. I feel like they're very sharp, they're very keen of intellect. And I, there's just, with the healing that they're doing right now, with whatever ending, this could be somebody who was widowed, perhaps, for some of you. This could be somebody who their previous partner died. I see them having sleepless nights. Maybe there's two Queens of Pentacles here because they had the one queen and they lost that. And now they're, they are opening to a new queen. They're still conflicted a little bit here, even though they, they're they focusing in all the right ways. So again, I feel like this is a matter of time for them to open up. They could just be going through some grief cycles where it's a little bit closer to them, you know, more recent loss. Let's look at this Ten of Cups for this person. They get the Justice card, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Some of what might be holding this person back could be other family members, other opinions, other voices. Um, there could be some sort of legal situation. It could be a probate type situation if there has been a death. This could also be a divorce that was kind of nasty. And so they might be awaiting some sort of resolution to that. I do feel like they are moving forward with that as much as they can in the, as for what's in their control, right? But if they're waiting on like the courts or the paperwork or something like that, that, that could be it. Uh, for others of you, this could be someone that has legal action with you, you know, and that they could be, they could be making things harder than they need to be for some of you. So some of you are, have dealt with someone from that aspect as well. I do see positive energies. I, I see more coming at them than, than they would like more differing opinions and maybe too many voices for them happening. And it's kind of overshadowing their ability to kind of come in a community right now. Let's look at this Wheel of Fortune in the connective energies here. The Knight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Again, this is 
I think for this connection, this is nice because I see movement toward the connection. I think there's a little bit of a caution of like not to go too fast, especially on your side. Don't rush this with this person. They need time. They are really looking for those calmer waters or could be children involved here. And whether it's your children, their children, both, there's definitely some calmer waters that are needing to happen before you can take this forward, but it is coming. The change is coming in this movement. Just be cautious of the time that and the space that you give it as it moves into the star, into what you both would like to see. Okay, clarifying this Seven of Swords, Falling in on your side, it's the Queen of Cups, and falling in with them, it's the Two of Wands. This is an indicator to me that the two of you may share a common trauma, and it probably has to do with somebody being manipulative or maybe betraying you or somebody being in really sneaky energies but they're really not that sneaky, you know, but they thought they were. And I, I think that both of you have a traumatic experience like this. And the caution here is to, is to pause and have patience with the two of wands that comes in on their side and on your side, the queen of cups and put love toward this trauma for yourself. Because what you don't want to end up doing is having some sort of trauma bond there where the two of you are like oh you were hurt like that yeah i was hurt like that Ugh. and you just kind of bond on the fact that you're hurt and then you go into these you know seemingly lovely wish energies without really healing those traumas for yourself so that's a little bit of a hey keep an eye out for that kind of energy there because um, there's nothing wrong with having that. That's part of being human is in the past, we, we know what those energies of betrayal and abandonment and you know manipulation feel like, someone being sneaky. When we really know what's going on and they think they're sneaky, but they're really not because you already know what's going on. That's something the both of you share here. And that can trigger for sure, that can trigger. So. Don't let it be, let it be something that is acknowledged, but not something that you base the foundation of your relationship on. Be careful of that. Okay, Libra, let's pull you a card from the Sacred Traveler Oracle Cards. This is a de deck by Denise Lynn. It is such a cool deck. Love using it. This one's coming out here. And you get Cleansing Waters, Purification activates a vibrant life force. Purification activates a vibrant life force. To achieve fulfillment, purify yourself and your surroundings. Space clear your environment, clear out clutter. In order to release old beliefs, stagnant energies, and auric grunge, that you may have picked up, it's necessary to cleanse and purify yourself and your home. Let go of the old, discarded, and unused. Eat lightly, drink fresh water, and simplify your life. Shower or bathe with the intention that all is that, that is not needed is being washed away. When you purify yourself, you become a clear channel for light and thus know what direction is best for your life. Also, your sparkling light can help heal and support others. Wow, beautiful energy, Libra. And I, I really love that cleansing waters coming in with the star here. Notice how they're filling up the pitchers with the water and they're pouring it onto the dry earth and drinking some of that water. Um, love bringing in that water element here to help you through this particular phase. It has been so nice to get face to face with you again, Libra. I feel like a lot of my readings have been the top down cards lately. Thank you so much for joining. Definitely drop a comment if this resonated and I will see you next time.